Hi, I'm GPB meteorologist Chrissy Warlow and I'm here at the National Weather Service in Peachtree City to celebrate Winter Weather Awareness Week. Now, I'm speaking with my good friend Steve Nelson, who is the Science Operations Officer for the National Weather Service here in Peachtree City. So Steve, thank you so much for talking with me today. You're welcome. Now, tell me a little bit about your displays when you are looking at the weather and you're thinking about advisory watch, warning. What are some of the key things that you're looking for over here? Right. Well, we have a variety of computer models. These are simulations of the atmosphere in real time, and that's what our system here, AWIP, uh, does. We're actually looking at live weather data today. We're, we're focusing on a winter storm that may be affecting parts of the Midwest. Iowa and Minnesota looks like there's a potential for some snow. Uh, when our meteorologists are trying to determine what type of precipitation we're, we're anticipating for the state, we're looking at a variety of computer model data. What I'm showing on the screen is actually live weather data that's occurring today in the Midwest U.S. Uh, there's a low pressure system here over Illinois and a wide area of precipitation with a cold front and warm front in this area. Uh, we don't just look at temperature at the surface, we're actually looking at, at conditions throughout the depth of the atmosphere. That would include uh, the low levels near the ground as well as the higher up levels, you know, about 10,000 feet or so, uh, and in quite a variety of ways. With our computer system, we can actually show that instead of looking at uh, temperature, we're actually looking at a mean temperature through the lower part of the atmosphere if these thresholds are met. Maybe in this area where we're seeing some brighter green colors, these lines would indicate this isn't going to fall as rain, it's probably going to fall as either freezing rain or snow. And looking at the mid-level temperatures, we're seeing this area could be mostly sleet. And this is colder aloft, maybe a lot of this in this part of the Midwest would actually fall of snow. So I've switched to the computer forecast. This is what the computer thinks snow will actually be falling in this area. And probably a mixture of winter precipitation just to its south and all rain further south of that. Well, Steve, thank you so much for speaking with me today. You're welcome. And if you want to learn more about the weather advisories for your area, you can go to www.weather.gov, and you can also go to gpb.org. I'm meteorologist Chrissy Warlow for Georgia Public Broadcasting.